Hello everybody, my name is Ghostbit, and as you can tell, this is going to be a very different video than your normal videos that I normally do, because A, I'm actually showing myself. <laughs> I didn't use the Ghostbit mascot, I figured I'll use them in the next video, so I don't want to overuse them, so that's why I'm showing myself. I'm getting kind of comfortable getting in front of the camera because I've been streaming lately. As the video suggests, this is going to be a channel update as to uh, my future content and um, what I'm going to be showing from here on out. You kind of already guessed it because you've already been seeing new stuff I've been posting on here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to that as to what I'm going to be showing and also the big announcement as well. So let's get right into it. Uh, my channel will be uh, featuring three types of videos from here on out and the first the three of them. It's going to be live streaming it's going to be uh, Godot tutorials, and it's going to be game dev topics, uh, interesting game dev topics. My next video that I'm currently working on will be from that third topic. Um, notice how I didn't put devlogs for game jams <laughs> or devlogs. I'll get to that in a second. Um, reason being, uh, I'm going to kind of lean back on the whole devlogs for game jams because... Uh, I mean, those are like my least watch videos. They have like 20 views to like 50 views. I mean, my live stream is like that too. But the big difference between the two is I love doing live streaming because I love playing your indie games and I love giving critique back to so you can improve on. Whereas devlogs, um, they take a while to make. I have to write the script. I got to make sure the script is well written that, um, and then I got to gather footage which to me is always the hardest so it, it takes a while and sometimes I, I just can't them or cancel them this is why you've never seen my Brackies game jam for this year because I had little to no footage because I forgot to record and even though that was my most successful game jam with uh with Spoon Swede and Acro I didn't have any footage to show for it other than the game itself so, I mean, that's why that's been canceled, unfortunately. Um, but um, that's when I, I will do game jam devlogs here and there. They won't be that often, but I will do them like once in a while uh, if I'm very confident in the game I've produced. Um, so let's get right to the big announcement. I am freezing growth of redemption now why I'm freezing growth of redemption uh, the answer is for my last game jam I entered in the Godot fire jam and um, it was a month long jam and right before I entered it I was starting to doubt myself um, I, I made like a Trello board a list of things I wanted accomplished to the remake of growth of redemption and I was starting to doubt myself and my skills it was in the back of my head and it was starting to like bug me a bit Normally to challenge that every time I get to that point as me, the what I how I handle it is I enter a game jam and I regain my confidence and I'm I'm like full driven into my game, Grow for Redemption. But um I saw a month long game jam and I've never entered it and I was like, let's do it. And the outcome was probably the worst game I've ever made up to this point, but was the best pixel art game I've ever produced. <laughs> <laughs> very weird but um it um uh, which by the way I've, I've been debating on making a devlog for it because normally again i just said seconds ago i don't like making devlogs for game jams because they're a pain in the butt but this one might be the exception because a lot went on for this game jam like i lot i learned a lot as a game dev for this game jam and even though it was the worst game i've ever produced um i think it'll be an interesting video but again, I'm on the fence if I should even do it or not, because I don't know how I feel about showing the worst game I've ever made thus far. <laughs> um, let me know down in the comments if you want to see that, if you're very interested. Um, but basically, to sum it up, um, I had 31 days to make a game, and the result is trash. I am not proud of what I produced. I hate what I produced. And... It's an insult to my skills. It was so I was so devastated with the outcome. Don't get me wrong, I I'm proud I released it because there was a lot of people in that jam that entered and like like from how many people entered, which was like three hundred I think or five hundred, 
only 27 people submitted a game. Like, that is, whoa. For, like, a month log jam, you'd think it would be the opposite, but no. Um, and I know why now. Um, and I'm, I just, I learned a lot uh, in my skills as a game dev. There was a lot of things I couldn't solve for my jam, a lot of things that fell apart. And it made me question, if I can't get a solid game out within a month, what does that, what does that say with Growth of Redemption? Like, if I struggled heavily for just a month on this game, and there's barely gameplay, it's a sloppy mess, by the way. Uh, feel free to play it if you want. It's on my itch.io page. Um, I probably won't link it on the comments because I'm, well, maybe I might, I might, who knows. Um, but it's such a hot mess, and it's just, I'm not proud of the end result. So I'm tempted to, uh, that made me question my game dev skills, and it made me realize. If I were to just ignore all that, all all what I learned as a game dev for that jam, then growth of redemption will probably be a disaster, and I'll just be lying to myself and ignoring everything that I that they that I should learn from my experience with that jam, and take with me, and that's what I'm leaning on. I'm I realize that I have a lot to work on. As a game developer, I'm almost there, but not quite there. I want Growth of Redemption to be perfect uh, the way I'm envisioning it. I know it's going to be a long-term project, so I'm, until I'm mentally prepared to tackle it, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to freeze it for now. My goal is to work on it next year. Hopefully, I'm back on track mentally and I'm ready to tackle it. But until then, I'm not going to work on it. I'm pushing it off to 2022. I hope I'm on the track at then. In the meantime, I'm going to be working on mid-sized projects. I have two in mind. Uh, I think two will be enough. Maybe just one. Who knows? Um, and the the first mid-sized project, I'm hoping three months, three to four months, it'll take for me to produce and release. Um, I'm going to type with the 100 days of game dev. Now, I've recently finished this challenge, and it was a fun challenge, but... I didn't like the I didn't like it because I didn't like how I went about it because I didn't know how I should go about it and midway I thought of a very very fun way to do the 100 days of game dev and I was like I'll save it for when I do it again. Um so that's what I'm going to do. Um I'm going to restart all over again and it's going to be tied heavily to my main project my mid my new project which is like a mid-sized project. Um so I'm very excited to start that hopefully very soon. Um, in the meantime, my channel is going to be showing the three things I just went over. Um, live streaming and good do tutorials. And from here, uh, once a month, hopefully, game dev topics. To give you an idea of what I mean by that, just think of any good gets video. <laughs> uh, I, got a lot, I got two ideas right now in my head. One's being produced as of now. I'm working on it. And um, I can't wait to get started. Godot tutorials, I have like three or four. Um, I have a list of. I can't wait to start. Godot doesn't have that many tutorials. Um, and I can't wait to throw my hat in the ring <laughs> and be a part of that experience. So I can't wait to start. And uh, hopefully somebody learns. If there's just one person that says, oh, my God, I needed this. Thank you so much. My job is done, you know, so I am i can't wait to get into tutorials. I've already gotten into tutorials, but I can't wait to produce more. So uh, that's going to be exciting. Um, so that's my update. Uh, freezing growth of redemption. It's not canceled. I'm just freezing it. And I'm going to be, uh, there's going to be live streaming and uh, Godot tutorials. Live streaming because I love it. I love giving feedback. There's a lot of indie games that I want to show on this channel and give feedback to and show amazing game devs out there their skills and maybe stuff that they can improve on so i can't wait to do all that i've been doing that um that's what my channel is going to be for for now and every once in a while i'll throw in a a, a good a game jam uh, a game jam devlog if if i do very very well or i think i'm uh, i think i'm proud of the product that's what i mean then I'll go ahead and do that as well. Um, thank you all for watching. I have tried to keep this video under 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be coming up hopefully by next week. I'm currently working on that. I can't wait to share it. The topic to give you a sneak peek is going to be on um, why do game devs cancel their main projects? <laughs> I'm going to be using me as an example, and I'm going to be using other game devs that have been successful in finishing their games. And I'm kind of going over 
what is it that I do wrong and what is it that they do right. Uh, so that's going to be a very interesting topic, and hopefully that helps out a lot of game devs that haven't started their main project yet, but are wishing to. So hopefully that kind of gives them an idea as to what you can prevent to like you know not fail, like what I have. So uh, this is Ghost Bit, and I will see you in the next uh, video. Thank you for watching.